So the Rings of Power, as I mentioned before, is officially out now. The initial reviews are being watched. And there are YouTubers that are making reviews. Now, I'm not necessarily a review channel. I might do my own review of the first two episodes because I, I didn't get any pre-screening, okay? I'm not loved by Amazon, nor do I fucking want to be. But it's interesting that the YouTubers who would have normally probably defended this show are actually tearing it apart. And it's funny because a lot of people have a particular issue with Galadriel. Uh, not necessarily Princess Disa or anything like that. They actually have an issue with Galadriel. And it's not shocking at all because Galadriel is probably the biggest uh, 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 complete like rework in terms of a character for for rings of power uh than any other character out there pretty much every character shown is basically an original character and that's supposedly who they focus on they focus on a lot of the original characters they don't focus on known characters like galadriel or Ronda, whatever the case may be but apparently according to a youtuber uh by the name of grace randolph she actually made a claim that Elrond and a lot of the elves are gay, which would not fucking surprise me in the slightest considering that it is Amazon doing what Amazon does. So we will get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so this article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and it says, Grace Randolph savages Galadriel in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and claims that Elrond is gay. I would not be surprised, man. I seriously, I'm serious, man. Like, this shit is just crazy. It says, YouTube reviewer and scooper Grace Randolph recently released her review for Prime Video's The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, and she took Morphic Clark's Galadriel to task and claimed that Elrond and a number of the male elves are gay. Randolph uploaded her review for The Lord of the Rings and Rings of Power and noted the review only looks at the first two episodes of the series. In a section of the video that she labels worst character, she specifically takes issue with Morphic Clark's Galadriel. Well, let's be fair. A lot of people have taken issue with Morphic Clark's uh, Galadriel because it is not the actual Galadriel that people have come to know and love. It is just a feminist Nazi version of Galadriel that they're trying to push on everybody because strong independent woman needs no man. It says, Randolph states, as for characters that I didn't like, well, there's only one character, actually, and that's while during the movies, I was like, no question, I would be an elf, team elf. Here, the elves are super boring, like, wow, so boring. She continued, I think that the lack of action is one of the things that hurts the elves, because the elves would thrive during the action sequences in the movies. They were like, oh, look at that sweet elf, elf action. Randolph then turned her attention to Morphe Clark and Galadriel, saying Morphic Clark was so happy to get the big role of Galadriel. In fact, she said that she fainted when she found out, so I feel bad that I have to report that she's the worst casting choice of the show and drags the entire thing down. Damn. Now that's bad. That's a fucking hit piece. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know what? Listen, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked in the slightest. We knew. Listen, anytime an actor comes out and says, oh, if you don't like the show's ideas, shut the fuck up and don't watch it. Whenever they're that bold, you know that there's a good chance that their show sucks. You know that's a good chance that whoever they're portraying is going to be portrayed in a horrible way. Like, these are not actors. These are activists. All right. This is basically the modern day actor, which is basically an activist. Right. So this is which is where we're at in today's society. It says she makes Galadriel both an elven Mary Sue and an elven Karen who would like to speak to the manager. I can't believe it. I can't believe she's both of those horrible things. That's funny. It says next Randolph claims that Elrond is gay, explaining Robert Ar Aramayo plays not just an ambitious elf uh, climbing the political hierarchy, but Galadriel's clearly gay BFF, which makes for a very relatable dynamic, I felt. And their friendship is like the one thing that softens Galadriel, because if you're like this, it's, it's nice, smart guy can stand her, uh, then there must be something the rest of us aren't seeing, she elaborated. While Randolph claims Elrond is Galadriel's gay BFF, she then laments, tragically, there are no LGBT characters in all the Lord of the Rings because J.R.R. Tolkien was a devout Roman Catholic. I don't really consider that to be tragic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need the gay mafia to come down on every single story that's out there. It's just not needed. You know what I mean? It, it's really ridiculous that you have to force fake diversity for what reason exactly? There's never any reason whatsoever given other than diversity. That's all it is. She then argues, I think the showrunners are trying to fly in the face of that as much as possible. I think there's a lot of subtext here, particularly with the elves. Openly gay actor Lee Pace did a wonderful, uh, captivating job in the Lord of the Rings movies. I think that whether J.R.R. Tolkien likes it or not, I think that's become a clear element of the elves, in particular in this world. Wow, so she's basically trying to say that all the elves are gay, essentially, or most of them. 
And I hope and I'm curious to see if they go a little further with it as the show progresses, she professed. I mean, you could cut the sexual tension in multiple elf male scenes with a knife. You know what it reminded me of? She then compared the show to Alfred Hitchcock's film Rope and pushed a recent interpretation of the film that it contains homosexual subtext. It was like watching Rope. It was one of the first LGBT movies ever made by a major studio. And the reason Hitchcock was able to get away with it is because he didn't tell the studio uh, what he was doing or even, I think, Jimmy Stewart. When you watch that movie, I don't think Jimmy Stewart gets the subtext of this movie. But it's very clear and the actors clearly know what they're doing. And Hitchcock clearly shows what kind of story he's telling. She then declared, and it's fascinating, that's a fascinating watershed moment in Hollywood history. But to still be watching a closeted storyline in 2022, I mean, it's just simply ridiculous. You're like those characters that lgbt let's explore it and have you know they're great characters let's do this let's not <laughs> you know what i mean like let's not do it okay i can i can agree with her on the on the trashing of galadriel because it is just a trash version of it but let's not fake this lgbt nonsense like you guys like to look and dig any chance you get and it's really sad okay it's really really sad and that's why like they're doing it with superman they're doing it with batman they're doing it with all these characters and they're basically trying to say oh no 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 the lgbt thing was always there it was always there you just didn't see it it, it took us to see it for you to see it because clearly we know better than you and the subtext was always there everybody's always secretly gay it just takes them to come out of the closet don't worry eventually elrond's gonna come out as gay the entire elf lineage is gonna come out as gay somehow female elves exist for some odd reason because apparently all the males are gay so i highly doubt they had any hair to sex but i mean i i, I oh god she had me in the first half i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know she had me in the first half she really did but still this whole lgbt pushing thing is so stupid Randolph then returned to Clark in her acting, saying, while her performance is definitely part of the problem, she gives Galadriel absolutely no nuance. Galadriel has, like, one mode, and it's annoying. Randolph then points to a scene where Galadriel single-handedly kills a snow troll without the support of her all-male squad. All the guys just stand there and watch, and I'm like, why aren't you guys a well old machine that she happens to be the leader of? That was just incredible. I was just shocking and ridiculous. They all just stood there, and she's like, don't worry, boys. I'll handle this snow troll. And you're like, what? Why? Don't you tell them, like, maneuver A, maneuver B? No, because he's a strong, independent woman and needs no man. Like, don't you guys realize what this is? It says Randall's criticism toward Galadriel are not unheard of. It's exactly what Prime Video was selling with Galadriel. Criticizing an official poster featuring Galadriel holding a sword while wearing a green dress, YouTuber European Lore noted this is the very thing that all the filmmakers and movie studios and producers and higher-ups in the entertainment industry are getting wrong about female characters. Because they think that you can only make a female character strong and intriguing and popular by making her basically into a man. Making each and every single female character into a badass warrior who can kick the asses of all the men around her, get rid of her femininity, get rid of the beauty get rid of what makes female characters really interesting and that is a beautiful combination of strength power and beauty i fucking agree 100 percent. i swear to god that is the best way to put it like what i just read is the best way to put it if i haven't already put it like that to begin with like they love to erase femininity because they see femininity as weakness and it's really sad because there is so much power in femininity and that's why so much of the original female lead characters back in the day in entertainment was so fucking incredible because they managed to kick ass while also still being women they didn't have to pretend to be men they had different weaknesses than men and we explored it and we embraced it that was the best thing about it so this whole pushing of making guy ladriel it really is annoying and this is why galadriel is definitely going to be one of the weakest if not the weakest character in lord of the rings the rings of power which is sad because they're essentially making the whole thing her story so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought of today's story and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out